Trevor Penning is one of those guys that's super aggressive, super mean, super angry, and he gets after it. Today, it was safety JT Gray, and this clip right here went viral. But there's a big part of this clip that people aren't really talking about. How great of a block was this by Trevor Penning? From a schematic perspective, Trevor Penning on this play is backside blocking on an inside zone to the right. So his responsibility is to get to the inside of Taco Charlton. At the same time, he needs to help that tight end overtake the inside of Charlton, and he does that. And then he switches his focus to the backside pursuit safety, who in this case is JT Gray. He gets off of Charlton once the tight end is able to overtake him. Then he gets up to that safety, and he seals him off as well. In this play, if the running back were to cut it back to the inside, which sometimes in an inside zone, that definitely happens, Penny would have created a massive lane here for the running back. This is such a great block, and unfortunately, people kind of write it off because of the fact that at the end of this play Trevor Penny kind of gets physical with the safety but when you look at the actual block of it it was a really nice play by Trevor Penny and to be honest there's a couple of really nice plays that I've seen for Penny check this next play out as well him going up against Peyton Turner who I made a film study on and I'm truly a believer of Peyton Turner I think Peyton Turner has superstar potential now of course Penny and Turner kind of get into it but the rep itself is really interesting if you guys really look at it first and foremost Penny doesn't do a great job getting vertical out of his set in fact at one point you see him kind of turn his body and he's almost running sideways to try to keep up with turner now when i initially thought about this play i thought that's just a terrible job by trevor penning but as i watched it i realized that this is actually a really nice rep by penning and it really shows you that strength that he has the technique the ability to win with leverage because at the beginning of the play if you guys watch trevor penning's right foot it actually gets caught in front of the left guard's foot and Penning actually slips on this play. And Turner, being a guy with a great first step, could really get upfield and cause havoc for the offense here. But Trevor Penning being Trevor Penning, he does a great job with that left hand and really create that leverage for himself. That left hand gets into the chest of Turner and he's able to use his strength to really stop Turner. Now the right hand does get on the back of Turner. He is pulling his jersey a little bit. Is this a hold? I'd say probably not. But overall, it's a pretty solid rep by Trevor Penning. Now there's a couple other plays that I wanna get into starting with this next clip. This is an inside zone to the left and Trevor Penning has two responsibilities. His first is to basically try to hook the defensive end. And if the hook does not happen, then you basically just drive him outward in this play that hook doesn't work because the defensive end is attacking the outside shoulder so at this point the tackle needs to just push the defensive end out and when i say push trevor penning takes that literal and he pushes this defensive end out he's going to really get that leverage really push the defensive end use that strength use that power use that drive with those quick choppy feet and really just at the end of the play finish this block Trevor Penning has been super freaking aggressive and I absolutely love it man now I do want to jump into the next two clips and these next two clips are teach tape in my opinion I think they're plays in which Trevor Penning does lose and that's okay of course he's a rookie going up against maybe the best defensive line in all of football which of course would feature some of the best defensive players starting with this first play right here as you guys see in this play Trevor Penning clearly loses Taco Charlton gets to the inside and this technically would be a sack in a real game now what ends up happening on this place is trevor penning actually does a nice job exploding out of his stance and doing a good job but the defense man is going to give him a hezzy to the outside and then he's going to power it back to the inside and penning does overset on this play now again he is a rookie and he's going to improve these things if you're going to lose reps you want to lose reps during practice not during a live game on this play, of course, he has to realize that if you are going to overset, you need to be ready with that inside hand in case this guy does try to go to the inside. Trevor Penning needs to work on that right hand of his to be able to come up and slow down one of these guys so that when a guy does rush you to the inside, you can punch him with that right hand. Now, while watching Trevor Penning's college tape, this was one of the things that often led to him holding and losing. And I do think that the coaches do want to really focus in on Penning getting better when defense men get him that inside move now the final clip i want to break down you guys are going to see that trevor penning once again loses now the defensive end he's blocking number 96 is not only going to set the edge and force the running back to cut it back to the inside keep in mind this is the inside zone to the left but then he gets off of penning's block and basically wraps the running back up for a gain of maybe one or two yards now penning has to get better on these front side runs Yes, some guys he may be able to put down, but you're not going to be able to do that with every single guy. At some point, just make the proper block and just seal your guy off. Keep your guy from making the play on the running back. 
when it comes to some of these clips, you can see that Trevor Penning is great when it comes to the backside blocks in the inside zone. But then on the front side blocks, he kind of struggles the same way he struggled a little bit in college. I do think Trevor Penning is on superstar track, specifically because of the coaching and all that that kind of goes into it. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. You know, I just wanted to break some stuff down in training camp. If this is the first time you're here, make sure you check out some of my past content. We break down NFL and college football all 22 tape, and we're going to be really busy as the season kind of progresses here. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.